Hi, Nung Hasu, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald, and this is our last episode. That's right, this is the final episode because it takes a lot of time to make these things, and I want to work on something else. Oh, wait, I just made ending the show my fault instead of blaming someone. If I'd said I'd been canceled, I could have milked an easy income from whiny piss baby Republicans for the rest of my life. Oh well. Tonight's feature is One Body Too Many, but first we have a recap of every episode of Zoro's Black Whip. Twelve episodes and not one appearance from Zoro. Anyway, tonight's feature is One Body Too Many. Millionaire Cyrus J. Rutherford has left his fortune to his various relatives, but only if his body is entombed the way he requested. Insurance salesman Albert Tuttle finds himself tasked with guarding the body against those looking to steal it to undo the will, even if they have to kill to achieve their goals. I found this movie almost exactly 13 years ago when I was hunting down public domain films to upload to the internet archive. This little noir comedy caught me completely off guard. I'd never heard of it and found it to be really charming. Plus, this Bella Lugosi has a butler who seems so heartbroken that he can't poison all the guests. Having worked in the service industry, I understand completely. Since this is the final episode, for the moment at least, I wanted to end with something special. So without further ado, tonight's feature, One Body Too Many. Tonight's feature is One Body Too Many, and I don't have too much to say about it other than to note that the star, Jack Haley, also played the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Yes, that Wizard of Oz. This film was the second of four films he made for Pine Thomas Productions, a company that previously had specialized in war and action films. Their films with Jack Haley were their first foray into comedies and musicals, and considering that they never lost money on a production, I guess they did pretty well. Also of note is the female lead, Jean Parker. Parker is an actor who worked extensively but never quite broke out. In 1944, the same year she did this movie, she appeared in six other films, including the first of two Kitty O'Day features. The whole crew of actors here is pretty good, so let's get back to enjoying their work in One Body Too Many. That was One Body Too Many, and as I've already said, this will be the last episode of the Busan Midnight movie in this form. What does that mean? Even I don't really know. Maybe it means I start doing it as a monthly thing, maybe I do it in a completely different format, maybe there's never another episode at all. We'll see. There are a lot of things I'd like to do differently, including taking the time to write real jokes. Like there, that would have been a perfect place to put a joke, but I didn't bother to write one. However, I didn't want to wrap things up without saying how much fun I've had doing this over the past five months. The show has been a lot of work, but also a real joy. If you'd like to stay abreast of new things that I do, please subscribe to this channel, and quite sincerely, Consomni Dunn, thank you for watching. And I'll remind you one last time to stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.